After Effects has a toolset specifically designed to animate text letter by letter. In fact, the Animate menu is embedded in every single text layer, and it's only one click away. Let's look at our project. Go to the timeline and click once to make sure it's active, then press the space bar to load up a preview. And you'll notice the very first layer just cuts into the scene. I'm going to press the space bar to stop playback, and I'll select Layer 2, which is that very first text layer, and I'll press I to move to the end point of that layer. Let's open up the options for Layer 2 by clicking on the triangle on the left side. Now instead of opening the text options, let's go over to the right where it says Animate, and click the button to the right of Animate. I want to animate the opacity of each one of these letters, so I'll go up and choose Opacity out of the group. Now notice I have many more options that have appeared here underneath my text. We're going to focus on this one here called the Animator, Animator 1 specifically. Animators are usually comprised of two components. You have the Range Selector and then whatever parameter you just applied. The range selector is a method for selecting individual letters for animation. We'll see how to select those letters in a moment, but what's important to understand is whatever's within the range takes on the value of whatever property you just added. So what I'm going to do, since I want this to fade in, is change the opacity to a setting of zero. Now let's open the range selector in the timeline, and one of the things I like to tell people is if you're not sure what a parameter does, go ahead and scrub on it so you can get a preview. So let's move our mouse over the start parameter and click and drag to scrub. And notice as I scrub to the right, this line here is moving to the right. This line here is called the start, and this is the start of whatever letters are going to be selected. So if we go down here and scrub on the end parameter, notice we have a similar line going the opposite direction. You can also click on these selectors directly in the composition panel. If you hover over one of the selectors, click and drag, notice as I'm dragging, the parameters are changing down here in the timeline. Usually with my projects, I have a lot of layers, so it's a little hard to be clicking in the composition panel all the time. So I recommend scrubbing here in the range selector. So I'll change my end setting to a value of 100%, and I'll change my start to a setting of zero. So to create the animation, I'll go ahead and add the keyframe here right at the start. And I know it's at the start because we pressed I to move to the end point of that layer. Now I like this fade to happen over the next second. So I'll just go here in the upper left corner of the timeline and I'll type 200 and press enter. And that moves us to two seconds exactly in the timeline. And let's change this start parameter from 0% to 100% and press enter. Now we're ready to preview the animation. Move the current time indicator back to the beginning of the timeline and press the space bar to preview. Now we've successfully created a fade over each individual letter using a text animator. And there are many different options available inside of text animators, so I highly encourage you to keep practicing and play around with the different settings. After all, they say practice makes perfect.